What's up guys and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. We are doing the story missions in Parque Fernando. And this is, I believe, the second episode, maybe the third, here in Parque Fernando. And we are supposed to go to this lake and place some decoys for hunting tourists, I guess. I don't know. Either way, uh, yeah, we're just going to get this going. This hunting party. Beatriz is a gaucha, born and raised on the land, tougher than most men, and the apple of my nephew's Vicente's eye. I taught Beatriz to shoot myself, so the party will be in good hands. In case she needs anything, I gave her your number. If she reaches out, help her if you have the time. Well, at least it wasn't a crash. <laughs> it was just a software update. Uh, anyways, we're, we're pretty close. And on the way over here, I did manage to pick up two female muleys. And we did pick up a level off of the last one. Look at that. These things just want to die. right through the heart. Lago Peron is just ahead. Uh, yeah, we're, we're here. I tried right. to place those in a natural grouping. Thank you. Could have swore I saw something out here. Maybe not. Now we have an urgent problem. The fan belt on the generator that powers the Lodge site is busted. Perhaps it was sabotaged by an energy salesman. I'll worry about that. You worry about getting the power back on so the crew can continue working. Unfortunately, we are a long way from the nearest hardware store, but as we say, lo atamos con alambre. You know, improvise, like my Giver. Try salvaging a fan belt from the site mark on your hunter mate. That's an old excavator left behind by a mining operation decades ago. Alright, so that is over a kilometer away. And by now you guys should know the deal. I'll be back when we get closer. Probably take him down. You are now near the first site where I plan to build the lodge, but my nephew convinced me to select a more central location. He was right, I think, but it's more difficult to get supplies to the middle of the reserve. Case in point, now. And that's why I had the Grilock out. You should see the excavator soon. I could have it removed, but there's something I like about it. It represents the failures of those who would have destroyed this place, had Fernando and I not rescued from them. Pelotudos. Their loss is our gain. See if you can salvage an appropriate fan belt. Alright, fan belt. Alright. Wow. You got the belt? Re buena. Vamos. Back to the lodge. That was loud. That was like really, really loud. I apologize, guys. Bring that fan belt to the generator. How are your mechanical skills? Can you fix it yourself? Well, I was a construction mechanic in the CV, so I'm pretty sure I can put on a fan belt. I don't know what she said, and I'm not sure I want to know. Tranquila, Carolina, tranquila. 
This isn't your fault. It's my fault. The silver lining is that now we have no choice but to set up a more sustainable power source. I wanted solar power, but let me tell you, wind turbine salespeople are persistent. This one guy claims he can save me packs of cash. Personally, I don't think there's enough wind here. Neither does Vicente. For the sake of due diligence, can you test these salesman's claims? Collect the wind gauges at the front of the lodge. Ah, uh, these. Okay. Set the wind gauges at the locations marked on your hunter mate. The locations marked off by the turbine salesman are just ahead. We got a prompt. There it is. We need to leave these gauges up for a while before you can collect the data. You've been working hard. Treat yourself to a hunt. There's plenty of game in the region. See what you can find. Well done, we you go. bag yourself a trophy just in time to collect that wind gauge data. Head back to the gauges. Oh man! Ooh, I'm so glad it wasn't a diamond. He was, he came in at 38.6. To make diamond, they have to come in at 39. So, we almost, almost had ourselves a potential diamond. It was a potential gold but because we screwed up i only hit the left for morris um it didn't quite make it but he's dark red i think we're gonna save him just because well wouldn't you know it that salesman wasn't lying after all our winds are in the optimum range for turbines we could even produce a surplus of power to sell off locally bigger than the surplus we might get from solar. The thing is, I've waited for decades to open this reserve. Now that we are this close, every minute we delay is agony. So while we were waiting on that wind data, I ordered solar panels anyway. Impulsive maybe, but wind turbines take too long to build. I simply couldn't take the chance that our VIP guests would arrive to a lodge without power. I even paid for emergency rush shipping so our solar panels were just airdrop next to the lake. Before I send a team out to retrieve them, can you confirm their arrival? Me too. Oh, we got a gold! And it's a black fur type. How cool is that? He came in at 262 we needed 28.3 to get a diamond, so he's a high gold. We're going to go ahead and save that harvest. Because that's nice. That's really, really nice. Can I take a picture? Guess not. Alright. Now, let's see what this guy got us. This one was a silver, black... He only scored a 21.4, so we'll just accept that one. Really? Really, dude? You see me right here. And you're just, okay. Alright, I mean, that's how, that's how you guys want to do. Anyways, it's time to go check out that lake. Do you see the solar panels? No? Nope. I hope some boludo pilot didn't screw up the drop. My nephew marked the plane's flight path on your hunter mate. Search that area, find those panels. So bossy, man. I haven't been to church since the 80s, but I'm praying to St. Anthony that you find those missing panels. Don't give up, you have to be getting close. Why is she so bossy? Alright, well... You know, I was thinking about ending the video here, but this one's not too far away, so we'll see what happens. That one was a bit low, but we definitely got a lung. He should go down any moment, just like that. Got ourselves another gold. Came in at 207.9. To make diamond, we need 251, though. Wow. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and save them. 
And uh, we'll try to get our next waypoint. Get this mission done so we can call it a day. Should we try to get ourselves an access to here? He's kind of big. I don't think that hit. <laughs> that one did. You found my solar panels? Oof, uh, maybe St. Anthony did the trick after all. I'll send a crew to that location to retrieve them. I don't see nothing. <laughs> Let's see. Sounds like everything is dead except for some cabling, which probably blew further, of course. The winds must resent that we are going solar, but they might also point us in the right direction. My nephew Mark an area on your hunter mate where he thinks you should look. How far away is that? What galls me is we had an account with this freight company for years. Whoever this drunken mess of a pilot is, missing his drops by whole kilometers, He's finished. We'll see to that. Alright, well, actually, that didn't take too long at all. I found him. Where did I hit him? Stomach. Ye. Yeah, he wouldn't have even made gold. So we'll accept that one. And I saw a female around here too. That right all the way over there. Dad gummit, I gotta take a shot on this. Alright, found him. Let's see what we got. We got ourselves our first gold axis, dear. Nice. It did only get through the left lung just barely though. Oof. 168. 21720 to become a diamond so at least he's big he got bigger we'll save that one except but anyways let's go check this out so let's get those up so we've got five saved ones so let's get the um, cinnamon teal first that's going to be the cheapest one. We got the black buck, which was a gold. We got a gold red deer. The gold axis deer. And the puma. Alright. So we went from 55,000 down to 31,000. Um, not great, but not bad either. So here's where I'm thinking that cinnamon teal should go. Right, so we got some running, looks like a landing pose, cleaning, I kind of like that, or sleeping I guess, <laughs> that one's like, hey, hey, I, I like that one, it's just amusing to me, so we're going to take that pose. Um, let's see here. Should we fill up this wall before coming over here? That red deer would look good up in here, though, man. Oh, you know what? I got the perfect spot for the red deer. Right here. All by his self. Oh, yeah. He looks good there. He looks good there. Alright, so then we got this one here. Let's do the axis deer. Mm. Kind of like that. Then we got the black buck that we can put there. Actually, that looks good. And it looks like the puma needs a bigger spot. So, I guess the puma goes up over here. Not as big as the lion, but, eh. 
<laughs> I wish we could put see the puma should go on the small tro on the small plaque because that medium sized plaque is way too big for him. But anyways, um, that's our trophy lodge updated. If you guys remember, we did fill out this room 100% with a whole bunch of stuff, a um, bunch of random stuff at that. And now we are working on this room here. We got a few more plaques to put up, or a few more mounts to put up on that one. A few more mounts to put over there and on that wall. And then we also have a small mount that goes there and two more that go on that. So I think we're doing pretty good. We're definitely filling out our trophy lodge. Um, not bad for only... All these came from the story missions and of course we crash just as we start taking a look at that. Um... Am I just going to get a black screen of death here? What happened here? We lost connection to the Steam server. Huh. Okay, well, either way, I was going to end the video. Anyways, it seems like um, when I crash, that's the game telling me, alright, you're done. <laughs> so... Uh, if you like the video, guys, please consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing. Otherwise, as always, be safe, be cool, have fun, and we'll catch you in the next one.